stand When the storms of life came crashing He was there When our hearts were heavy laden He was there To redeem my hearts from every brokenness And only one went back and said thank you Jesus And his healing was permanent So what does that mean? As children of God, we must testify. We have no choice there. For your miracle, your blessing, your healing, whatever it is, to remain permanent, we must testify. Praise Jesus. So uh, we have some few testimonies recorded. We're just going to watch. Um, these are, we know that we have great, mighty men and women of God all over the world. But God gave us the grace to connect with uh, his servant twice man Daniel and he blessed us with uh, spiritual items and uh, we have people who also have connected earlier through amazing power of prayer points and they've recorded their testimonies so the reason why we we recorded the testimonies is to show how important it is for us to testify. Okay? So, let's watch. And then, uh, this one is going to lift you. Sorry. This one is going to lift your, your faith so that you trust God the more. And if you are here and God has done something for you in connection to the ministry of Weissman Daniel, we are also welcome to testify. Praise Jesus. Thank you. Elohim is here. Elohim is here. Elohim, the Almighty God, lives in us. Viewers all over the world, you're once again welcome to this program, Let's Testify. Whenever God does anything to you, it's good to go before him and say, Thank you, Jesus, for the great and mighty things that you've done for me, so that he can continue to do more. It doesn't matter how little it is, when God does something to you, you have to testify. Before we begin, my name is Beatrice. I'm the coordinator for Elohim, Kenya. We're going to read the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, verse 11 to 12. The Bible says, And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out. We thank God for his grace upon Apostle Paul. The grace of Apostle Paul is still operating in our lives today. When we went to Believer's Night Vigil with wise men Daniel, we were opportune to be blessed by faith items like the calendars, photo frame, morning dew, morning sticker, and the wristband. When we came back, we were led to have a meeting and we've seen mighty miracles happening through this special gift from the man of God, wise man Daniel. You are here the other time when you testify. We are still testifying and we'll continue to testify until Christ comes back. Once again, we have with us more testimonies of what God has continued to do in our midst, and we are here to say thank you, Jesus. Stay tuned. Okay, Miko Majina Naitwa Beatrice Kagai, Natoka in Chini, Kenya, Nanaishi Nairobi. Nimekuja hapa kutoa ushuda wangu, wakati nimekuwa katika changamoto ya maisha. Nimekuwa nikijaribu kumtafuta huyu Mungu lakini ninakosa kuelewa 
ni wapi nitafanya nini nitapata uponyaji changamoto ya maisha nimekuwa kwenye ndoa miaka tatu nikazaa watoto wainne kijana akakufa nikabaki na wasiana watatu wakati nilipotoka kwenye ndoa nikajitenga maisha yamekuwa magumu Ku, kujaribu kupata chakula niweke mezani imekuwa ni shida wakati ninapoanzisha biashara changamoto ya biashara sina pesa yani maisha yanakuwa magumu ninakosa kujielewa baki nafika wakati ninakata tamaa sasa wakati nilipojaribu kutafuta uhusiano katika na watoto wangu watoto wangu wakakuja wakanikata wakanitenga nikabaki kwenye pengo peke yangu sikuwa na la kufanya sikuwa na lolote la kupitia ni kupitia nipate uponyaji kutoka kwa Mungu changamoto ingine wakati nilipoona ninasumbuka hapa Kenya maisha yanakuwa magumu ilibidi nitafute ofisi moja hapa Kenya agent ya kupeleka wasiana kule warabuni ilikuja nikafaulu nikapata hiyo passport nikamaliza mipangilio yao wote nikaweza kusafiri wakati nilipo safiri nikaenda kule nikafanya miaka mbili na nusu nikamaliza contract wakati nilimaliza contract tumaini langu lilikuwa ya kwamba nikirudi Kenya nitafuta tena ofisi nyingine nisafiri kwenda Uarabuni lakini wakati nilipofika Kenya nikatafuta ofisi nikapeleka pasipoti yangu na sikuwa na tumaini lolote ofisi hiyo ikachukua pasipoti yangu ikagua manayo kwa miaka nane nimesumbuka nikiwa nikiwaeleza kwamba wanirudishia passport awarudishi wananiambia tu subiri subiri wengine wanasafiri wanaenda mimi ninabaki pale pale mimi nabaki tu pale pale sina yeyote atakayeshughulikia passport yangu iende changamoto ilizidi nikakosa la kuelewa mbaki kafika mahali nikasema mimi hii dunia nitaishi tu na nikufe nikapoteza nika tumaini kabisa nikawa niko tu pale pale Ninaitwa Beatrice lakini mwili uko mbali ma, mawaidha iko mbali nikungojea tu wakati wa kufa. Lakini wakati dadangu aliponipigia simu akaniambia Beatrice unaendeleaje? Nikamwambia mimi niko tu. Maisha nikamwambia maisha ni yale yale tu. Na akaniambia kwamba ujipe moyo. Hivi sasa nime nimesafiri kutoka hii nchi nikaenda kule Daniel nini Weisman Daniel na nimekuletea ujumbe ya kwamba uponyaji uko kwa maisha yako. Nikamuuliza ni itakuwaje? Akaniambia usi usihangaika kuna coordinator anakuja na faith items. Neither faith items uende ukiwa na imani utapona. Sasa ikafika wakati nikasubiri ndio nikapigiwa simu na coordinator akaniuliza majina nikamueleza akaniambia are you uko tayari kukuja kwa mkutano? nikamwambia niko tayari kuja kwa mkutano. Hiyo mkutano akanieleza kwamba ni Saturday na akanieleza masaba saa saba na nusu ufike kwa mkutano. Nilifanya juu na chini nikafika katika hiyo mkutano na nikakuja nikatulia. Pale nilipokuwa nilikuwa nimetulia nikasema tumaini langu liko kwa Mungu. Ni wapo nitapona siku ya leo nitaona muujiza wa Mungu wa Mungu. Kwa hiyo wakati coordinator aliingia na mkutano ukaanza. Mkutano wakati ulipoanza tukaendelea vizuri tuka tukaanza kugawia hizi faith item wakati wakati wangu ulifika pale mbele nikapewa hii faith item nikazibeba nikaenda kukaa chini kaambia Mungu ya kwamba iwapo Mungu umesema nitafunguliwa kwa siku ya leo na hiwe hivyo hapo tu katika hiyo hali nikasikia moto nikasikia tu mwili si wangu tena hata wakati nilikuwa najaribu kuomba nikaona nguvu zinaniingia na nguvu za nyesi kwa naelewa zinatoka wapi kidogo nikajikuta niko chini wapendo nilipoanguka si kukaa pale chini muda mrefu niliweza kuamuka na nikarudi kwenye kiti changu nikachukua hizi faith items nikapanga kwenye baasha mimi nikaelekea nyumbani mahali napoishi wakati nilifika kwa nyumba ndio niliweza kuomba kwa mwili yangu ilikuwa released na mwanzo singeweza kuomba mimi nilikuwa natoka kule ninaingia kwa blanket mimi na lala lakini pale pale wakati nilipoenda na hizi faith items kwa nyumba ninge, nili, niliweza kuwa na nguvu zile za kumtumainia Mungu na kumuomba na wakati tulipofunzwa na coordinator ya kwamba we scatter and divide na nikasimama na lile jambo lilikuwa linaniteza kwenye moyo i divided and i scattered them nikakaa muda wa karibu siku tatu ninasikia kuomba 
mahali pengine ninawacha ninasikia kuomba ninawacha lakini wakati coordinator alipopiga simu kozi nilikuwa na kiu ya, ku, ya kupata uponyaji akaniambia ya kwamba unaweza rudi kwenye mkutano hapo nilisikia roho imejihisi nirudi kwenye mkutano saa akanieleza mkutano ni tarehe saba ujitayarishe uje kwa mkutano nilikuja nikiwa na imani na niliambia Mungu ya kwamba siku hii ya leo ninataka uponyaji kila ambacho kimezuia maisha yangu nisikue na mafanikio siku hii ya leo nitafanya nini nitaiona nilifika kwenye hiyo nilifika pale nikapata kweli watu wameingia mkutano ikaanza tukapewa zile zile prayer item kaambiwa kila mtu ashike yake na akue na imani wakati nilishika imani yangu nikaambia Mungu ya kwamba wakati ninashika nina hii prayer item nataka ku divide and scatter chochote kilicho maisha ni mwangu kilicho nizuia kilicho nifunga nisiendelee kwenye maisha yangu nataka siku ya leo nifanye nini nifunguliwe na kweli ni divide and scatter whatever ilikuwa mbele yangu na baada ya muda kidogo hata sikuchukua muda mwingi ku divide and scatter cause nilienda pale nikiwa na jambo moja tu cause hilo limekuwa likinisumbua ni nani amenifunga maisha ni mwangu lakini wakati niliposimama na hilo jambo niliweza kufunguliwa nilisi nguvu nguvu zenye ni mali kwa nimesimama miguu imekuwa moto nilikaanza kusikia kana kwamba sijielewi na hapo ndipo sauti ilitoka kama kulia sauti kubwa sana nikosa nikaelekezwa nika pale mbele na hiyo sauti ikasikika tena wakauliza ni nani aliweza kujitaja wakati alipotaja wakamuuliza kwamba ni nini unahitaji na ni nini alikukosea aliweza kutaja hayo mambo na wakamwambia waka kwamba utamwachilia katika hiyo hali nikaanza kutapika stains za damu nikastapika kabisa kukohoa na kutapika kukohoa na kutapika kukohoa na kutapika mpaka wakati kiu ile ko ilikuja kakauka hapo nikakaa pale kwa muda cause nilipewa muda ya kupumzika cause niliweza kuko ani mwili ilikuwa ime imekuwa mdhaifu katika hiyo ya hali ya kukohoa na ku, na kutapika hapo ndio nikuja nikasimama nikaenda kwenye kiti nikakaa nikatulia wakati nilitulia mkutano ikaisha na nikaenda nyumbani nikiwa na imani na nikaambia Mungu ya kwamba hii imani ninayo nitaendelea kufunga kwa siku saba na kweli nilifunga siku saba nilikuwa nakula siku nilikuwa nakunywa tu maji kwa hizo siku saba wakati nilipomaliza hiyo ahadi ya kufunga na kuomba pahali ambapo pasipoti yangu ilikuwa imefanya nini ilikuwa ime ofisi ile ilikuwa ina old passport yangu waliweza kunipigia simu wakaniambia kwamba una una tumaini la kusafiri nikawaambia kwamba mimi niko tumaini la kusafiri na naweza safiri nikaambiwa kwamba uko tayari kwenda medical nikawaambia ya niko tayari kwenda medical wakaniita wakanielekeza mahali nitaenda medical nikaenda nikaambiwa ya kwamba utamaliza siku tatu medical tukipata results za medical visa itatoka kwa kweli visa ilikuja ikafanya nini ikatoka hapa nilipo niko na visa na ninasafiri tarehe mbili ndege yangu ni ya usiku ninashukuru Mungu kwa kuwa ninajua haya yenye Mungu amefungua kuna mengi zaidi ninatarajia kutoka kwake nilipata kazi moyo wangu ukakuwa mtulivu mahali nilipo sasa niko na kazi ninaweza fanya kazi ninaweza furahia ile mapenzi yake Mungu vile alivyo nibariki vile alivyo nifungua sasa nina amani kwenye moyo nina furaha nina upendo na hizi faith items wakati nimezishika ni kwenye mkono zina nguvu ya Mungu zina uwepo wakati unapozishika ukue tu na imani utapokea mujiza wako yale mateso ulikuwa nayo Mungu atayaondoa ile shida ulikuwa nayo kikusumbua Mungu ataiondoa wakati unapoishika tu hivi na ukue na imani Mungu anakufungua Elohim mighty god lives in us the mighty god lives in us thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord amen, amen. what well, nice Elohim, 
you listen with faith. And so we listen, tell God. Open your heart. If you remember that there's somebody you had somewhere, please, let's go that person. It's not part of our business. Tell God, as you've done for them, do it for me. Praise Jesus. We may continue. Good morning. Elohim, mighty God lives in us. My name is Catherine Kamawamani, a Kenyan living in Washington, USA. I came here last year for greener pastures, as they say, but guided by God. Um, as a trained professional nurse back in my country, uh, here we are required to undertake an examination for us to be licensed to practice in this country. These exams are not easy for anyone. And uh, like everyone else, I was eager and expecting that uh, I would sit for the exam the first time and pass. That did not happen and I was devastated. Remember, I had left my children and my husband back in Kenya. And this is the first time I'm away from them, something that has been quite challenging for me. But I thank God because he's been with me, he's been guiding me and strengthen me each day. As a member of Elohim family, I kept praying using prayer points. I kept trusting God that he will make a way for me even when circumstances were saying otherwise. So I have, my desire was to get the spiritual items and I just did not know how that would happen, but I knew it would happen. And as God would have it, he made a way and um, I got the spiritual items. So I started revising and praying with the spiritual items. And I, I booked my examination for May 24th, last, this month. Unfortunately, during this time, there were so many challenges. I had my father-in-law hospitalized and he eventually passed last Sunday. I had my sister, my cousin sister in hospital, had my auntie in ICU in India. There were so many financial challenges. But I remember as I prepared, I had God tell me that I needed to partner with Elohim Kenya to help reach as many number of people with the gospel of Jesus Christ for healing and deliverance. Brethren, it was not easy. Remember, uh, money was tight, so tight, but I told God, you know what, everything I have comes from you, and everything I'll ever have will come from you, and I obeyed and trusted God. Um, as I went to sit for my examination on that day, that's the same day they were burying my father-in-law, I was so down, I felt uh, demotivated, I felt pain. But I told God, this is you doing this examination through me. And I know, Lord, you will wipe my tears. I am glad that I, when I left the examination room, I felt like I had, I had failed because the exam was so hard. But I kept trusting God and kept my faith alive. Uh, after two days, I got the results and I had passed and brethren i am now licensed to practice to practice here as a registered nurse and i know like our father has taught us our spiritual father had taught us better is not good enough the best is yet to come and i know for as long as i continue trusting god the best is yet to come good morning Praise God. Praise God once again. My name is Purity Mudeo. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm a born again Christian. I love God. And this God has brought me this far. Before I went to see my pastor, I had a problem of nightmares and evil attacks for almost two months. And my menstruation had ceased for almost nine months.
I decided to go and see my pastor and express my problems to my pastor because it was a bit stressful to me. I even thought that I would become a burden, so I decided to be open so that I could be helped by my pastor. When I went to my pastor, we started to pray, but he introduced me to these powerful prayer points, which were so helpful to me. And I thank God, since we started to pray those prayer points, the nightmares just ceased automatically. But in my bedroom where I slept, I saw brightening, which showered all my room. Then all of a sudden, I stopped seeing nightmares, evil attacks then. On the night of 17, that's when my menstruation came back. I started to menstruate once again. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God because this is God who has brought me this far. Since the day I accepted to follow him. Me, I trust that this God will take me far. Whatever he brought me to do, he will give me. And will give me a bright future ahead. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I don't have nightmares now. I don't have menstruation. I don't have sick menstruation now. And it was it was not painful. Maybe it was good. Praise the name of Jesus. Okay, that's good. May the good Lord bless you. Continue serving this Lord. To my viewers, continue serving this Lord. There is a great reward by the end. Those who have not yet received it. By the way, I used to hear that there is Lord. But now I'm seeing him with my own eyes. For the greatness he has been doing. And these prayer points the man of God has given us are very powerful. And they will take us far in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Elohim, mighty God lives in us. My name is Grace Apolkame Ayombel. I'm from Ghana, but currently staying in Nairobi, Kenya. This is my daughter. She is a Wenji Awenchima Amuxi. She's six years old now. She'll be turning seven soon. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life and my daughter's life. Even in my, the entire family. I want to thank God for that. My What God did for me and my daughter, I cannot just keep quiet with it. Because he did so much for us that we don't even have words to thank God for it. So I want to share this, my testimony, to encourage others so that they shouldn't give up on themselves. It all started when she, uh, she was turning three years. One day she started crying. We, could, we didn't know what happened. So we went to the hospital and they gave us some painkillers. We came back, it wasn't changing. So we went back again. Then it got about two to three weeks, it became better. We thought that was all. But no. It's one month time it started again. Then it's it's now became a habit every month or every two weeks she will cry and not just for once she will cry for two days three days then when we go to the hospital they'll still give us the painkillers and we'll, they'll manage the pain it continues like that till one day we left kenya and we'll visit home at ghana when we went home she started crying again. We thought that was the normal thing. By that time, it became worse. She cried a lot. We went to the hospitals, more than three hospitals in Ghana, just for them to manage the pain. 
that they tried. The doctors actually tried. She was suffering a lot, crying. I don't, I can't even explain it. But all the same, we, they were able to manage the pain small. Then we came back to Kenya. Then we went back to the hospital. Then they, they asked us to go for an x-ray to find out what is happening. We, they did, the doctors did so much that myself, I can't even say, they themselves, they couldn't explain what was actually happening. Let me off the light so that maybe you can be able to see the x-ray. This is what we went first, and it was the left leg. This is it. I don't know because it's dark, it can't see clearly, but this is what we went for first. They couldn't explain what actually is happening. Then they made us go for a second. We went for this one. For the left leg. Because it has kept long, I can't even remember all the dates in it. But this is the second one. Then that one, it didn't end there. It was so much that the daughters, when we go, one has to refer us to another. When we get there, that person too has to refer us to another. So much that, so much extra that we took. Look at another. This is to tell you people that what God did for me and my daughter is not something that we can keep quiet about it. This is another one too. This is it. The left leg, you can see that that leg is, the doctors may understand what is there. <laughs> they didn't end there. <laughs> this is another, because they were trying to get what is actually there. That is making her go through that pain. It was so much that we can't sleep. We can't sleep. We can't do anything. It continues like that till when she was six, five years. Still, the pain is still there. Look at the X-ray. Look at them here. There are so many, there are so many, I can't even talk, there are so, so, so many, so many that we took. After that, it didn't end there. We went back for this one. Let me see, put the light and see whether it will be better. We went for this one. This is another one for the leg. This is it. This, this is it. So the, because of this one, the doctors now decided that they have to do surgery to take something, the part of the bone so that they can be able to test and see what is inside. So when we went for the this one, when we did this one, the last one before the surgery, this is the report, the report that the doctors wrote to us. They are, the reports are all mixed up, but this is it. One is here, the one, Yes, the one that they did for, they, they, they saw and then they did the surgery. This is it. Take, you can see. This is it. Then after that one, the reports too, they are also here. So much different hospitals. So, so much. It's a lot of tests that we did. And... We were not able to find a solution. This is so much, so much reports, so, so, so much, and tests. 
side here. So after that report, they now did the surgery. Then we thought for the surgery that they did, everything is working. But this one, the the, the one before the report, the surgery, this one, this one, and the report is here. And they said they suspected bone cancer. They suspected. So when they say they will have to take the part of the bone, then they will test it. They operated her, take some, and when they did the test, they told us that they thought it was bone, a bone cancer, but it wasn't. It wasn't a bone cancer. But still, she still go through the pain every month, every two months, every week. It can happen at any time. She cry. Not just cry. She can't even walk. She can't do anything with her leg. So until one day, I was watching the... I was just going through Facebook. And I saw was my was Mandana. I decided to watch his preachings and everything. Through that, I had the opportunity to receive the deal from heaven, the prayer point from Sister Beatrice. And faith, the faith tools, I received all of them. So when I had the opportunity to receive these things, I said, no. Today is the end of my daughter's problem. She cannot always be crying like that. Up to four years for crying every day and night. So I pray with her. Then we use the dew from heaven. From there, that day she slept without crying. When we use the prayer point, pray with it, she started feeling fine. She didn't even complain about it again. So till one day again, she started out, oh, my leg is paining. So I decided to put this thing on her hand. So when I put the thing on her hand, I don't know what happened. I went out. When I came back, she told me, Ma, the thing has been cut off. So I said, what? What happened? That I don't know. But I said, no, I won't give it. I won't give up. So I took super glue to mend it. I don't know if you can see. I say it's a lie. This thing must be in her hand till the pain disappear. So I put the super glue, then mend it, and put it back. To God be the glory. My daughter is fine now. No more pain. No more crying. Nothing. So we just want to say thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for healing me. Thank you, God of man, for healing me. You can see the leg. Get up. Let me show your leg. Bring your... See where they did the surgery. Come this way. You can see, that is the mark. That is where they did the surgery. And she's fine now. She's fine. She's fine. So we say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for healing her. Thank you. And even with this, this one, my, the dew from heaven, Myself, I was having challenges in my academic. Immediately we pray and I administer this on myself. This is my resource. 
I cannot keep it to myself. So I said, no, God has done so much for me through Wise Mandana and this to a faith tools. This is my resource now. But before, it was so bad. So, so, so bad. And this is it. These are my results. So I'm so happy and glad to be part of Elohim ministry. Thank you, God. Man of God, thank you. Thank God for using you to save us. Thank you. Uh, my advice is to the whole world, don't give up. Don't give up on God. Have faith. When you have the opportunity to receive deal from heaven and the prayer points, please have faith. They work like I can't even tell. They work so much for us. So we are so grateful. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, God. Thank you. I know one day I and my daughter will visit the man of God. And you will see the whole thing clear. I'll come with everything. Everything. I'll come with them. God willing. Thank you, man of God. Elohim. Elohim. The mighty God lives in us. Thank you. Mimi naitwa Margaret Wageshi kutoka Kitegera. Mimi ni mkaaji hapa Kitegera na niko na watoto wanne wasichana. Sasa tunakaa na wao huku Kitegera. Mtoto wangu mmoja wa firstborn, mmoja wa firstborn alipata mtoto msichana. Alipata mtoto tukiwa na yeye tu. Kwa hivyo mimi ndio nimekaa na huyo mtoto kutoka akiwa mdogo. Nimekaa na yeye. Nimekaa na yeye akikua na muona saa yoyote. Lakini akifika mwaka mmoja alianza kugojeka. Kugojeka yeye sijui ilitoka wapi. Juu alikuwa anashikwa na homa, anagojeka homa kubwa na anaanza joto. Joto inapanda, inapanda, inaenda juu kabisa. Hiyo joto ikirudi chini atakuwa na joto pande kwa pande. Unaweza mshika mkono mmoja, usikia hiyo mkono mmoja ndio iko na joto. Hakuna pahali ingine ako na joto. Sasa saa hiyo imerudi chini. Haya, unaweza mshika mguu Usikie joto imetoka kwa mkono iko kwa mguu. Alikuwa anaenda hivyo na vipande vipande. Unaweza shika kishwa usikie sasa joto imepanda ikaenda kwa kishwa. Ni mjoto kishwa lakini hakuna pahali ingine ya kumjoto. Tuliendelea na yeye hivyo hivyo. Nikaanza kumpeleka hospitali. Nikaanza kumjaribu hii hospitali hii hospitali hii hospitali hii hapatikani ugonjwa hasa. Lakini saa hiyo hakikuwa na hiyo mwaka ameanza kuconfess. Hiyo joto ikipada juu irudi chini ianze kuenda kwa vipande vipande ameanza kuconfess akiwa na mwaka mmoja. Sasa mimi nilishindwa na kupea mtu yeyote huyu mtoto wa msichana wangu ni mjukuu. Nilishindwa na kupea mtu yeyote mtoto juu nilikuwa na wasiwazi. Nitaashia huyu pengine agojeke kama mimi si yuko nipigwe simu mtoto amegojeka ama amekibishwa hospitali fulani nianze kukua na hiyo wasiwasi sasa nilishindwa na kupea mtu mtoto nikaona mimi ndio nitakaa na yeye tulijaribu hospitali mingi pesa ikaanza kuogeseka tukashidwa Madawa nakaa nayo kwa nyumba, nafaa nikae na madawa kila saa, kila siku. Hiyo madawa ikiisha anagojeka tena. Saa ile anakunywa madawa, 
si mgonjwa madawa ikiisha inabidi niende ingine hospitali juu ni mgonjwa tulienda hivyo 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 ikakuja tukashindwa juu pesa imekuwa mingi tumeshindwa tukakaa tukakaa mpaka nikapatana na sister yangu nikiwa hapa kitegera tukaogea na sister yangu lakini ako US akaniambia kuna pahali anayesanituma niende na huyo mtoto kwa maombi na huyo mtoto atapona ndio alinielekesha alinielekeza na lombi pahali maombi inakuanga na akanipea namba ya mama anaitwa Beatrice tuogee na yeye ndio anielekeze pahali nitawakuta nilishukua hiyo namba nikapigia Beatrice tukaogea na yeye akaniambia na sabakuta na lobby sitseite pale kunaitwa sitseite nikaenda huko nikafika huko sitseite tukaonana na Beatrice na akaniambia pale nimefika nimefika kwa Mungu mwenyewe huyo mtoto hata hujeka tena tutaendelea na kuomba na tukaanza maombi tukiwa watu wengi tu hatukuwa na bitres tu peke yake tulikuwa watu wengi kila mtu na shida yake mimi tulianza maombi kwa shida yangu tukaanza maombi tukaanza maombi tukaomba tuka worship kuna saa ilifika tukioba mimi sikujielewa nilikuta nishapika magoti nikaanza kutoa pofu kwa mdomo nikatoa pofu tukioba nikatoa pofu nikatoa pofu mpaka wakati maombi iliisha nikaamka kuamka ule mtoto wangu nilikuwa na, nimeenda naye akiwa mgojwa sana alikuwa na homa kali na joto iko juu hata nilikuwa naomba kwa gari Mungu asaidie huyu mtoto asikonfase hapa kwa hii gari juu sijui nitaanzia wapi watu watanionaje hii ni ugojwa imezidi sasa nilikuwa naomba Mungu anifikishe tu pahali naenda nifike vizuri kama mtoto hajakonfase na Mungu alifanya hivyo tulifika sasa hapa kutoa pofu nilitoa pofu tukiomba mpaka tukamalizia kuomba kumalizia kuomba kuna sile vitu nilipewa hii maji na hii pisha na karatasi ya maombi nilifuata hii maombi nikafuata nikafuata mpaka sasa tukaomba tukaashiriwa kwenda manyumbani nikienda huko nilimeeleza mtoto wangu alikuwa mkojwa sana alikuwa na homa iko juu kabisa na alikuwa na joto lakini ilikuwa imerudi chini ikaanza kuenda kwa vipade vipade ukimguza mkono ni mjoto ukimguja mguu ni mjoto kila pahali jina hakuna pahali kuna joto sasa nikitoka hiyo kanisa nirudi kwa manyubani mtoto wangu alikuwa amepona kabisa hakuwa na homa hakuwa na joto alikuwa amepona hata sijui alipona aje hiyo kitu ilinishagaza juu nilifika kwa nyumba kama mtoto hana homa si mjoto na tutoka huko kwa nyumba akiwa mgojo nikakuja nikaeleza watoto wangu vile tumefika na vile tumeona na mtoto amepona hata wao alistuka sana kuangalia mtoto si mgojwa si mgojwa hata kidogo na lieda akiwa mgojwa kutoka saa hiyo walikuwa afu, watoto wafugue shule mtoto wangu akafugua shule tukampeleka sijawahi ona ugojwa yake tena mpaka wa leo sijawahi enda hospitali sijawahi nunua madawa na siku anakosa madawa kwa mashupa nimeona mkono wa Mungu Elohim mighty god lives in us my name is Emily Ndegwa and I come from Nairobi Kenya my testimony goes like this last year in November the first week I started experiencing headaches so I thought it was because I had not taken enough water that week that I was having the the constant headaches but when I tried to refresh my system taking more lots of water nothing was happening 
So I happened to go to work, but that weekend, the headaches became so much, actually persisted to the point that it was interfering with my vision. So I went to, from work, I went, um, I went, bought medicines over the counter, I actually bought uh, the clofenac to see whether the pain was going to come down. So I got the clofenac, uh, the pain subsided just a little bit. But this particular time, when I was in class, I had gone to, uh, I was coming from class. It was, we were actually in class doing uh, discussions. The headache started coming back on again. And this time it got so bad to the point that I became very shivery. I, was, I, was, I had a fever. I was very shivery, very cold. And uh, I was losing vision on my, on my left eye. Get to the, when I got to the hospital, I had completely lost the vision on the left eye. So the doctor uh, gave me an injection to bring the pain down. And then I was sent to go and do the CT scan. This is the CT scan that I did. That's the CT scan. And this is the report that I got from the CT scan. That's the report. And the conclusion at the back here, it says that uh, when you read here, it says uh, MRI. MRI is suggested for further evaluation. So this, this the report is one that sent me to go and do the MRI. I went, went to the radiologist, went and did the MRI, and this, it was the same result. This is the MRI rep, uh, scan, the scan film. And this is the report from the MRI. The red, with this, if, as you can see the, uh, on the MRI report, the radiologist diagnosed that I have um, early multiple sclerosis. And it was from there I was sent to the neurologist. When I go to the neurologist, he did uh, the, the skills to check my, the, my motor skills. And I was sent to, I was admitted as a hospital for them to do further tests to see what was causing the gray matter because the result was that they, could, they were finding gray matter scattered in my brain. So the neurologist wanted to know what was the reason for that brain matter. It is during those, those uh, in the hospital, the result, finally the neurologist, this is the report from the neurologist and his conclusion was uh, focal encephalitis. That is the neurologist's uh, report. I left the hospital I left the hospital and uh, I was, they were, they, they admin, uh, I was, they administered to me, they gave me, they actually prescribed for me painkillers. These were stronger painkillers to bring the pain down while for me to go for other, uh, for another further test in another hospital. So during this time I'm waiting to go for a further test in the hospital and I'm still taking the, the painkillers. My friend who is the Kenyan coordinator, Beatrice Akinyi, came and visited me and I told her my plight, I told her what I was going through, the, how the headaches had put me down, the dizziness I was going through because the headaches were making me very dizzy, I was losing balance, at times I would be seated, my left leg would jack up, sleeping was a problem, I could not sleep on either side, the headache was just was so bad, I became very irritable, uh, tension, there was so much tension in my head. So when we visit, we, uh, my, the Kenyan coordinator came to visit me, she came with this dew of heaven from uh, Wiseman Daniel Ministries. How I came to know about Wiseman Daniel Ministries, I had known about Wiseman Daniel when he was at Skowan. So one time I was popping through the, the YouTube channels, watching, finding of, uh, some of the Christian channels that I can watch. Wiseman Daniel happened to, his, his page came and he was saying he was, uh, he was, telling the people how he's been, uh, he's been released from Skowan and he was starting his own ministry. So my friend Beatrice happened to visit the, the Wiseman Daniel ministry in Abuja and she came with the dew of heaven. Beatrice administered this dew of heaven on me. That night, immediately she ministered the morning water on me. The vision had already cleared and the headache subsided. I slept. When I slept, I kept on feeling this, this white film that was, it's like I was put in a bubble, but there's such clear white film, very clear, bright light that was covering me the entire night. Waking up in the morning, there were no more headaches. My vision was restored. My, my balance was restored. No more pain, no more tension, no more jacking up, no more irritability. 
And I want to thank God for this day of heaven. Glory be to the mighty God. Since that time, it's now been six months. I have never experienced a single headache, nothing. Even if I will not take water the entire week, no headache, nothing. I give God all the glory. My Elohim, mighty God lives in us. Good morning and win today. Elohim, mighty God live in us. My name is Nelly Nyambura from Kenya. I would like to share my testimony through the faith tool from Elohim ministry. For the past eight years, I have been bleeding. I have been bleeding for the eight years. In the middle of the month, I will spot. And during that time, I, have been, I will be bleeding in between the month. It will be so much severe pain. Every day I will be spotting. And I am not in my monthly period. In 2015, I went to to the hospital in Saudi Arabia. The doctor did the, the ultrasound and the doctor discovered I have ovarian cysts in my right ovary and I have a small mass. The doctor said it is fibroid. That was the cause of the bleeding. And he gave me medication of which after three months I continue bleeding. I start bleeding again. The every middle of the month, after my monthly period, after other 10 days, I would start again bleeding. And during that moment, I will have so much pain in my lower abdomen, in that moment of bleeding. It continued on the year 2020. During that time of bleeding, I usually have a heavy menstruation, heavy. I mean heavy menstruation. It will be so much, it will be too much for me. And I will be experiencing pain in my legs during now my monthly period, my normal period. But it will be too heavy, too much pain in my both legs. I came back to Kenya, that is, was on 14 May. And on 28th May, I received my faith tool from Kenya coordinator. And I received them by faith, believing God of his mandane will locate me in his mercy and he will deliver me from this bleeding and from this ovarian cyst and fibroid. The month that followed, exactly the date where I usually start bleeding in between the month, by God's grace and the mercy of God, I did not experience anything. This is God of his mandan who located me in his mercy. I did not experience anything in that month. I did not spot and I did not have pain in my lower abdomen. Now the next the month that followed, my men, monthly period, menstruation period, I did not have experience pain in my legs. I did not experience heavy bleeding. I did not experience pain during my menstruation. And by God's grace, even now, I have not spotted. I have not experienced pain because God of his mandane have located me in his mercy. Today, I have a testimony. I'm testifying for what God have done to me, have done in my life through faith told of his mandane ministry. They have changed my life. And I believe I will come again with a more powerful testimony. Elohim, the Almighty God lives in us. Viewers all over the world, you've just watched the amazing testimonies that God has done to us through his able servant, wise man Daniel. We give God all the glory. Today we're going to learn about uh, ministration of angel. I just learned this a while ago that angels minister to us. We're going to read Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1 to the end, but let's major on verse 13 and verse 14. And I read, To which of the angels did God ever say, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool 
for your feet. It is only Jesus that God said, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. No angel, nobody. What do I mean by this? Christ Jesus lives in us. When Christ Jesus died, we died. So when he resurrected and is living, he's living in us. And since Christ Jesus lives in us, we also live with him in the heavenly places, at the right hand where God has said, sit until I make your enemies your footstool. Angels only minister to God. So if angels minister to God and we are in Christ Jesus, angels, they minister unto us. Verse 14, are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? Well, let me explain. A few days ago before we announced this day, 2nd July 2022, let's testify with Weissman Daniel, the all hell broke loose against me. I was driving to work. And I reached a point, I slept on the wheels. And it was such a narrow road that we have vehicles coming and others going. Somehow, I don't know what took me from the road. And I found myself at the roadside just next to the bridge. And I woke up. And I took some time and thought. And I decided to start the vehicle again. I drove back home to sleep instead of going to work. The next day, I made sure I was well rested, I was uh, satisfied, and I was okay. And then before I left work, something tells me, use amazing power of prayer points and pray. And I have the amazing power of, point, power of prayer points here. And I prayed, I read Psalm 51, I divided, I scattered, and then something tells me, spray your vehicle with the dew from heaven. I was wondering why, because uh, I'm always spraying the vehicle. So why did I have to do it again? So, but I did it. I sprayed the vehicle with the deal from heaven. And then something tells me, cancel accidents. And I decided to cancel accidents. I took the stuff of Moses, with the stuff of Moses. I divide and I scatter every spirit of accident. And after that, I decided to play the last Sunday service as I was coming home. I was worshiping with Elohim ministry. I was praying with Weissman Daniel through the highway, the subway, bypass. And then when I was almost getting home, now I was leaving one corner to go to a high, another highway. I don't know what happened. I did these mistakes that drivers make. I turned the vehicle, but I forgot to turn it again. So I accelerated and instead of going forward, I was going where I was coming from and it was in speed and within a short period of time I saw myself uh, in the hospital, I saw myself uh, um, maybe dead, I saw myself, there were so many things were playing in my mind and I told God, this vehicle, the Bible says, your blessing maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Is it really a, a blessing? And all of a sudden the vehicle stopped. I don't know how it was stuck under. So it hung somewhere between the highway and uh, uh, some pavement there. So I got out of the vehicle. Immediately somebody stopped, a Prado, parked in front, another one like that. If you can see the fleet of vehicles, it's almost um, over 10. They just came to help me. It's unlike Nairobi, where we find people in accidents, we slow down, we cause traffic, we peep through the window, and we drive off. These people came to help me. I don't know how they came, but they came to help me. But that is not enough. I, I, in a short while, I'm seeing a truck, and the truck had brought mechanics. And I'm wondering, these are professionals. Where am I going to get money to pay them? And these people started moving and uh, doing this and doing that. They asked me about uh, the, the spare tire. I told them uh, where it was. The jack, I showed them where it was. 
and uh, they delicately um, one of them was in the steering and they delicately turned the vehicle until the vehicle was able to come out from where it was the video is here and after that these guys told me actually what I was doing during that time I was taking photos and I was taking video you'd wonder and I was the one who was in trouble men are working and I'm busy taking videos and taking photos then what happened is they told me madam you're now okay your vehicle is okay drive back home and when I look at the vehicle there's no scratch no scratch at all myself I'm okay I was not stressed I just put the hazard and drive, uh, drove slowly to the, to, uh, back home and at the parking I was crying and I was crying and I wasn't crying because I was in an accident no I was crying because I've never experienced such kind of love and I was asking God what manner of love is this you know I realized that God whenever you're in trouble he sends angels to minister unto you so viewers all over the world we are in the very difficult times at this particular time, but be rest assured that if you remain in the Lord and if you walk in the word of God and you walk in obedience, you walk in loyalty and you serve God with the whole of your heart, then whenever you're in trouble, you are not alone. Christ Jesus is always there with you and the angels will minister unto you the way they minister unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for these testimonies and we declare today better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Elohim, the almighty God lives in us. Elohim is here. Okay, you, everyone have this? We cannot come to the house of God and be without pain. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Amen. At least we are living here knowing that it's working. Is it working? 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 It's working.
We command you right now. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire You can see what materials. 
are. I thank God it's for off. this. It's off. Put it on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God again. Hallelujah. I thank God Almighty for the wonderful work he has done in my life today. Mm, when the woman was, of God was praying, I, I, I can't really explain what really happened to me. I just saw myself on the floor. And I, I, I was seeing myself in the, I was in a dark place. And then suddenly, there was light which was striking me in my eyes. Yes. I really thank God because I know my past, my problems, everything that has been tormenting my life has come to pass. Amen. I thank, I thank God, I thank boys my Daniel for allowing us to converge here. I really thank him for that. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, how do you feel now? Uh, actually, last year I was suffering from COVID. I was hospitalized for 10 days. Last year, June, for 10 days, I was in oxygen for 10 days. I really thank God. I have, I have a friend of mine who gave me the poster, the anointing sticker for Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I was able to come out of that scenario after the 10 days. Last week on Sunday, when Beatrice told me to come, I told her, I, I don't think I'll be able to come to Nairobi because it's so cold and I still have the long COVID effect. Because sometimes I feel the pains. Because when you get COVID, it doesn't clear, hapo, hapo. Sometimes you have those long COVID effects for some time. But on Sunday, when I was praying through Emmanuel TV, I did vomit some stuff. I was praying through Emmanuel TV, but I was holding my anointing speakers, the, ones, the one for was in Dani. And I did vomit some stuff. So I knew my, my deliverance had started from there. So I called, yeah, this one. I called our coordinator, Beatrice, and told her I'll be coming to Nairobi. And I knew from there, since my deliverance had started from Sunday, I knew today it was going to be the end. So I believe the long COVID effect. I didn't have my smell for one year. But when I started using praying, using the anointing water and the sticker and the amazing pop, prayer points, I received my sense of smell. Amen. God bless you, my sister. Enjoy your testimony. Thank you. May you make the word of God the standard for your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank God for his glory. Amen. So praise God. I'm not really good in talking in front of people. So I've been stagnant in my job since 2019. So every time I go for an interview, I stutter or I I lose words. So uh, like after the match, like a week later, I got invited to a job interview. I text her. I was like, hi hey, bitches, I have an interview tomorrow. Can I get the faith item? She told me I have to teach you how to pray first. Go and get that job, it's yours. That's what she told me. Okay, however, I borrowed someone who had this and into water. When I went to the interview, I told God, whenever I go somewhere, I stutter, I lose words, I'm good at my work. I'm good, but I've been stagnant all through. And every time I go in front of the board, I lose words. So I spread this on my mouth, and I spread this on my face. So when I was in the interview, at first I was anxious. The first time. Is this what you spray? Yes. This is what I used to spray my mouth and my, on my face. Actually, I even use this as a, as a perfume on <laughs> my body. True story. So, when I was in front of the interview, actually I was anxious. Even the HR was like, are you anxious? I'm like, yes. So I, I remember that prayer that God, take more of me, give me more of you. More of your wisdom, more of your favor. Let your mercy locate me, let your favor locate me. And then I was calm all through. Like I answered all the questions correctly. Like these guys were like, oh, well answered, well answered. So after the interview, they called me the next day and I was told we are tied to people. And uh, the reason, they, okay, I had quoted something higher and the other person had quoted something lower. I still called her. And she told me they will not reject you because you have quoted something higher. I actually quoted something times three, whatever I'm currently being paid. Amen. Yes. 
and uh, on Thursday they confirmed and they sent me the confirmation letter. Hallelujah. Oh, that's what you Did you have the confirmation letter? Yes, I have ah. given the email. Oh God, thank you Jesus. Jesus. So, I'm from... Our God is not cheap. Amen. You tie with, you tie two. One has quoted a, a law of one You know, during this COVID time, companies are struggling. They are most likely to go for the cheap one. But you see, our God is not cheap. So what you put, that is yours. Yeah? When your feet are covered with grace, wherever you step, you take possession. Is it? I told her, please, my sister, they will not reject you because of what you put it. Actually, they will know that you are valuable to the company.
understand When the storms of life came crashing He was there When our hearts were heavy laden He was there To redeem my hearts from every brokenness mm-hmm. To the lost and departed He was there To the orphans and the helpless He was there To the orphans and the hell 